up, what's up? I hope you're play you're enjoying the playlist. You're watching Social Friday only on Y in the morning on Y254 channel, your favorite breakfast show is on between 7 and 10 a.m. We do this between every Monday to Friday. So make sure you do catch up with us. So today being Social Friday, if you've been watching us, then you know that this is the day that as much as we're talking business, we're gonna play some games and we're gonna have some fun. So my name is Hilda Wadidi, and if you do want to participate in the conversation, make sure you do slide into our DM at Y254 channel on Twitter. The hashtag is Social Friday, hashtag Y in the morning. On Facebook, we're at Y254. On Instagram, we're at Y254 underscore channel. So make sure you do participate. DSTV 376, Signet 824, Star Times 54. So it's about time we meet somebody here who is a professional actor. Mm? entertainment entrepreneur hey okay he's kind of a jack of all trades and he's somebody who has featured in a lot of tv shows which you've been watching as well as music videos but it's about time i introduce you to samuel luchemo please say good morning to the why in the morning family morning everyone yes mm -hmm. good to see you man mm -hmm. <laughs> so yes this here. gentleman is quite interesting oh. Hey, from, from oh goodness goodness vashita auntie boss Coco, Jane and Abel, everything, everything. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, so let's talk. Mm. Let's talk now. Let's oh. let me get to know you first, Samuel. Yes. So let's. Who is Samuel? Uh, Samuel is just a simple person, actually, mm. uh, a person with a vision to to mentor more youths in Africa itself. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. uh, I strive to build musicians, actors, and models mm -hmm. in Africa itself. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's usually just me. Um, mm. uh, simple guy, mm -hmm. I will say that. Yeah. Simple guy from down the street. <laughs> yes. So how did you? How were you able to to get to get into this industry, especially and 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 end up doing so many projects? People end up complaining that oh, we don't have these opportunities. Oh, we're always doing auditions. We are not being casted. Mm. How did you land so many roles? What's so special about Samuel? Well, uh, be being in the industry, I came to learn by myself, mm -hmm. plus a few guys who guided me through, like, uh, I would say, uh, Kenneth Ambani, and then uh, Raymond Fuller. These mm -hmm. are a few guys who've helped me in a few things in mm -hmm. the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, they're like basically my mentors. Mm -hmm. So uh, as it came up, I came to understand you have to interact with more people mm -hmm. and get to brand yourself people could get to know who you are mm -hmm. and what you represent or what you want people to see in you. So mm -hmm. basically came to learn a few things mm -hmm. as a group mm -hmm. in the industry. So what was it about film and entertainment that caught your attention? Well, uh, film, I started loving it while in high school. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. I was first a musician, uh, a rapper, mostly, and a break dancer. Oh, so you were a rapper? Yes. Can I, can I, can I <laughs> ask you to throw some, to spit some lines? I don't know. Uh, I will do that <laughs> later. When we play the game. Yes. Now I know what to do with yeah. you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as a musician and a rapper, I was supposed to make a, a, f um, a soundtrack for a film, uh, mm -hmm. a short film for the school. So, uh, after that, now the class teacher asked me to also be part of the film. Mm -hmm. So, and basically being in high school uh, and being out of school most of the time shooting the movie, so this is the life. Wait, was <laughs> this in Kenya? Uh, no. Uh, I see First, it. yes, uh -huh. no, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, after that, mm -hmm. uh, now I started loving film. Mm -hmm. So, I did a couple of films there and mm -hmm. then came to Kenya mm -hmm. now to pursue it Father, mm -hmm. uh, yes, I got rejected so many times. How many times? Can you so, count them? So many. I will say over fifty. Oh, oh, yeah. So people shouldn't lose hope. No. Okay. Yeah. So uh, being in the industry, you should not lose hope. Mm -hmm. So uh, with time, I came to understand that yes, I should put myself out there, and moreover, I should uh, interact more with more people in the industry, getting mm -hmm. to know producers, directors, mm -hmm. even as you go to uh, audition, you still have to know other people. So I attended a number of forums, uh, workshops and stuff like that to get to know more people. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's how. So can I ask, why the big shifts? Why did you come from wherever you came from and came to Kenya? Well, um, <laughs> you know, there I was just, how can I say, 
simply studying mm -hmm. yeah uh, mm -hmm. as much as i did a few other things but mostly it was just studying mm -hmm. uh, after that i decided to come back home uh, mm -hmm. so yes you came home to grow your own yes it's better that way okay so for someone who's been casted as a drug dealer yeah a businessman yes Okay, so what is it? What is it about people's personalities that? Because um, considering I've seen you've also produced a film yourself, you've yeah. also the executive producer for a particular film here. I yes. can see. In fact, let me just name it: um, the New Game. New yes. Game. Yeah, it's a short film uh -huh. we did in 2013. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was a nice film, mm -hmm. basically about what is happening within uh, mm -hmm. the industry. Uh, a dude trying to, uh, how can I say? Uh, no, it was basically about lesbians ah yeah. very interesting conversation yes. so that is the risky content yes. right there so yeah mm -hmm. I, it was just a few things these things exist so we just try to talk about it but we didn't put it like really out there yeah. so let me ask you when it comes to casting what is mm. it about somebody that makes you feel like this person sh can fit into this role you know yeah. like how do you get even those people who who are not really gay per se but mm. to act gay like what what is the trick wow that's hard uh casting a person you have to see something much more than they just show you mm -hmm. most people want you to see something yet there's something much more within them that they they kind of hide and that's the main thing that we're looking for oh. so usually i try to make people totally comfortable like there's a film that we're going to do an international film called Afrigod it's based in the 1800 mm -hmm. uh, uh, how life was in Africa before uh, before colonization and stuff like that oh, uh -huh. yes so uh, with that you have to be yourself but strong should the African nature show the beauty of Africa your unity you your strength, your power, your, how can I say, your color. Mm -hmm. That's, we want to see much more than what you're just showing us mm -hmm. because there's too much that you have, mm -hmm. but you do not want to show it. Interesting. Yes. So, so what do you do? Okay, now that we're all hiding something, how do you know what I'm hiding? What's the secret? What are the clues? Well, it's just a few questions. Basically, what I look first is your dress code and then your tone variation mm -hmm. and the way you work and the way you talk the way you work the way you talk yes. everything yes. okay so, so. <laughs> the first first seconds uh -huh. as you enter the audition that's mm -hmm. when i've literally auditioned you mm -hmm. so the next ones are just to confirm if i've seen what i wanted to say mm -hmm. yes from there now i get to know you the real you now because i cast the real person, not the person you're pretending to be. Yes. You know, I'm, you know, I really don't want to ask this question, but I think I'm just going to take the risk. I mean, yeah. what the hell? Anyway, so if you were to cast me or if you were to give me a role, what role would you give me? <laughs> well, uh, first of all, I would pick you as a naive receptionist. Naive receptionist. Yes. Can you believe this, <laughs> gentleman? Anyway. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's <laughs> that and then uh, a lawyer, a feisty lawyer. Oh, feisty yes. lawyer. I like yes. this. Mm -hmm. I will pick those as the main ones first. Feisty lawyer and a naive receptionist. Oh, yeah. maybe you should also slide into a DM and let us know, you know? <laughs> <laughs> maybe when the yes. other presenters come here as well, I think we, I'd like to know what you think of them. But I think yes. that would be much, much later. Mm -hmm. However, let's talk about now roles that you got and how they fit into your own personality. Like, how did you bring them out? Like, um, there's one in which you're a drug dealer. That's yes. Whisperer too. Yes, there's Whisperer 2, who's mm -hmm. a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. And then there's another one called Exchange, uh -huh. was picked as one of mm -hmm. that, and then Broken. Mm -hmm. uh, this. Uh, so you've gotten a drug dealing role three times? Yes. What is it that. <laughs> yeah. You look like a drug dealer. Are you no, a drug dealer? <laughs> okay, <Just> uh, <laughs> you know, that side that you say you usually hide that you want to bring out. Mm -hmm. Yes, most people when they see me, they see me as a cool, chilled, simple guy, mm. but there's other things within me that I can show. So basically for these roles, as I did them, I showed them the other side of me mm -hmm. and uh, they kind of liked it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I got those roles basing on that. Yeah. Okay, so there's another role that, mm. I, that has, the, um, 
that has kind of sparked my interest. Mm. So aside from being a drug dealer and a businessman, you've also been a womanizer. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. A womanizer. Interesting. Yeah. Please tell me about your experience. Please. <laughs> There's uh, a film, uh -huh. one of my first films in Kenya called Njia Panda. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a Swahili mo movie. So I, I was casted for it as uh, a businessman mm -hmm. and uh, a womanizer. I had like five five wives five or something. Wives. yes oh uh, yeah but <laughs> you know mm -hmm. having so many wives to bring you stress mm -hmm. stuff like that and then they ended up that stress depression ended up killing me ah. within it so, so you yeah. just couldn't handle the pressure so that was the message that you just yes. need one wife you're going to yes. kill yourself without this yeah people. it's better to have just one wife than five of them mm. yes so in real life, mm. in real life now, yeah. when people meet you, co considering uh, some people meet you for the first time on screen, mm -hmm. and they adopt that that character that you're portraying there is kind of who now they associate mm. you to being with. Yeah. Um, can you tell me about your interaction with your fans? Have I met somebody and they were just so skeptical about you because yeah. they've seen you be a womanizer yeah. or a <laughs> drug dealer somewhere? <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. um, a few have approached me in a weird way. Mm -hmm. uh, Others have feared me, based on uh, within that character, I was extremely angry. Mm -hmm. uh, so the anger, though, though, the thing that they couldn't like easily approach me. So, mm -hmm. uh, well, I mm -hmm. had to make them comfortable with me mm -hmm. because I'm a simple person and mm -hmm. you can easily interact with me anyhow. So uh, when they got to know the other side of me or rather the real me, mm -hmm. they, they mm -hmm. got comfortable because this is just acting. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're a drug dealer, it's not you. So mm -hmm. uh, it's just be myself with my uh, Do you ever get fans. tempted to be one? Like, have you ever been in, a ro in, in your role so much <laughs> that you're like, oh God, can I actually uh, really do this in real life? Uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, Do you get this, lost basically yes, in the moment? The film that I did called Exchange, mm -hmm. this one, I got really deep into that oh. character. Uh -huh. uh, it was very emotional, uh, and there's a side of that film that. Uh, depicted my past a bit so also you could relate to yes. some of the the experiences the exactly. character was going through oh. exactly uh -huh. so it was quite personal with mm -hmm. it uh, and yeah i got deep into it and before i got out of that character it took a while it took a while yes. so what did you do while you were in character now on the <laughs> outside world i'd like to know no. <laughs> uh, just uh people <laughs> I used to... Did you buy a cigarette or something and feel bad? No, uh, <laughs> yeah. no I used uh -huh. to just want to either strangle someone. Oh, uh, for real? Violence? Yeah, oh. want to beat them up and make them know who I am. Okay. And stuff like that. So uh -huh. it kind of got uh, into my head uh -huh. so much. And then now I had to remove it. Uh, oh, it, 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 it arose a yes. certain person I knew yes. that you didn't know existed. Yes. Um, uh, there was something I was watching when it came to a, a specific actor called uh, Jim Carrey. I think you know him. Mm. Uh, Ace Ventura, The Mask. Yes. That guy, the yeah. funny guy. Um, he talked about how um, he, he, he got lost completely mm. like he did so many films he doesn't know who he is he, he says he's everyone mm. like he's everyone. yes do you think it's possible for an actor to get to that point where you you don't have a personality anymore you're whoever yes if you there's where you get so many different roles mm -hmm. or a particular role until you usually just adapt to it mm -hmm. it happens mm -hmm. a number of times for actors who mm -hmm who I can say method actors, mm -hmm. uh, it method really actors. happens, yes. This is whereby you get very deep into that character. Mm -hmm. uh, you you even lose weight, you yes. do everything, you exactly. cut your hair, yes. you, ah, you get uh -huh. embodied in through that character. And, mm -hmm. th and this is something you have to bring alive. So it's usually uh, happens at all. I can imagine that must mm. be interesting. So let me find out uh, from you. Um, is there a, pers a particular role that if you were to be given, you would not play? Mm. Like it would, it would be against everything that you believe in. Have you ever even been put in a position where yes. you are like, oh no, I can't do that? Yeah, um, let's see. Uh, there are few, there's a film I was supposed to be a uh, trans, Gender. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. For real? That was uh, oh, a weird 
film, <laughs> had uh -huh. a lot of money, uh -huh. but I couldn't do it mm -hmm. because well, I won't feel that comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not that I have anything against such people, but mm -hmm. personally, I can't do it. So, yeah, that's a role I cannot do. It defeated you a little yes. bit. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. because they are foreigners, so, mm -hmm. you know, and those roles are quite very tempting. The tempting. Yeah, mm -hmm. very tempting, basing on the, on the fact that you're given a lot of money mm -hmm. to do that role. Mm -hmm. So when you look at it and then you look at what you're going through in life, mm. you, you kind of want to do it, but no, I You're prefer, like, this no. is not worth the money. Yes. It's not worth it. Yes. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So there's a particular role that you also play, which is a, a, a video fox. Yeah? Yes. You've been in uh, one of our big artist uh, music videos, and yeah. she's a lady. Yes. And I just wanted to be, I just wanted to ask, you know, like how does it how does it feel like like to romance another woman's man especially especially in some of these cases he's even uh, around you know he's just there watching like uh, how does it feel like <laughs> <laughs> huh? yeah with the, okay the uh -huh. the music videos for vivin and um, madini classic mm. so yeah we it was quite a romantic role because I was uh, going to play as a marrying somebody else. Uh -huh. Then yes, uh, if you have s uh, the dude there and maybe you hate him, <laughs> <laughs> you you have fun. Now you that. enjoy the role yes. properly. <laughs> yes, but at times maybe if you don't have chemistry with the person or the lady's not comfortable with you, you cannot do it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, for this particular one, it was quite simple and then there were certain scenes we were to do but mm -hmm. the director could not allow it mm -hmm. so yeah uh, the story changed mm -hmm. so yeah interesting yeah. so because i like the fact that you've mentioned the uh, chemistry between characters mm. um what happens when there's no chemistry between characters like oh. five people have casted and you feel like this person is best fit for this this one is best fit for this yeah. then Yes, they, it doesn't work. There's not uh, that one is a huge problem because okay, there's uh, a new TV series I'm coming up with mm -hmm. called Temptation. I'm working with the f uh, oh, with this temptation. guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the idea from uh, this Robert Mwamba from Citizen. Mm -hmm. Yes, so uh, within this TV series, the sat certain of those characters didn't weren't so comfortable with. Uh, others so mm -hmm. you just had to make them adapt to each other slowly but slowly because at the end of the day it really has to work mm -hmm. so but if you find that you cannot get any chemistry with the other person mm -hmm. then I as a cast director I'll have to change you mm -hmm. and it's usually hard mm -hmm. uh, it's a hard choice so mm -hmm. I have to do it either way mm -hmm. so uh, but usually we try to make people build chemistry like uh, various rehearsals so how do you yes I was going to ask how do you build chemistry like mm. between people when you notice oops now it has not gone the way you had <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they had imagined but these are the best people for this job so what mm. are some of the steps that you take to 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 you know, oh, make it work. Make, well, do you I, set them up on a date? What do you do? <laughs> yes, okay, there's a few who we have done that mm -hmm. to set them up on a date mm -hmm. so that at least they build that chemistry. Mm -hmm. and then we had a number of uh, uh, rehearsals mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. So this rehearsals, you have to get to know this other person. Mm -hmm. Basically, first, for mm -hmm. like a week, you have to just... Uh, personally know the other person you're playing with mm -hmm. get to know who they are what they do and stuff so like that so how do you draw the line because mm. once you once you want them to get that personal uh, yeah. connection yeah. how do you draw the line well it's just have to respect one another mm -hmm. yeah, there's nothing else than that so mm -hmm. I usually just tell them that they respect each other Mm -hmm. within that rule. Uh -huh. What they're doing, make sure that you don't overstep your boundary. Mm -hmm. uh, because at the end of the day, you mm -hmm. might get burnt. Okay. So, yeah. So we try to make sure that mm -hmm. every person respects the other person. Interesting. Mm. Um, every person respects the other person. Um, have you ever had character regrets? Like you've done a film or a series and, and um, you realize, no, 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 no. Mm. So and so should have been this. And so and mm. so should have been that. Yeah. Have you ever had an experience of that nature? Yeah, a few times. Mm -hmm. uh, 
guess when I casted somebody for a certain role, they didn't fully deliver. Mm -hmm. And then I thought I shouldn't have casted. Because there are people who are extremely excellent during an audition, but bad during the shoot. Mm. So it's, you kind of wonder who did you cast. Mm -hmm. So it's, at the end of the day, you really have to have a plan B. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a plan B, either you just go with it mm -hmm. or you don't know. Okay, okay, so mm. it's about time we need to take a short break and then we'll mm. be right back. But do make sure that we have a few Panari giveaways for you. So if you want to win a prize, uh, make sure that you let us know mm, whom you want to take out, who you want to go with to that special uh, occasion at Panari and make sure there are tickets for two. And also um, they will be ice skating, movies, dinner. So make sure you do participate in this particular uh, dinner for two, you know. So make sure you do tell us who you want to go with and tell us your story and let us know. And the person who's going to win this on our social media handles at white Four channel the hashtag is why in the morning hashtag um uh, social friday let us know your story and maybe you'll be lucky enough and this easter you'll be somewhere in panari and have a good time you know but it's about time we take a short break we'll be right back with samuel